Welcome back Sagittarius. This is Renee and this is going to be the next 48 hours. What's happening, what you can expect, what's going on for your next 48 hours. Okay, let's take a look. And now if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your March playlist and take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more clarity. Okay, and Sagittarius, let's get some energy for you. Okay, we have temperance. Wow, okay, you're having patience. You're being persistent about something. There's something going on that you need to take more control of, um, that you're trying to find your power in. Okay, you're waiting for some kind of answers to come through for you. Um, I feel like you're really looking towards clarity because you're trying very hard to find your happiness okay you're trying to find that happy place um in your situation but i feel like you're you're doing it you know looking for healing balance some kind of restoration but i feel like there are still some guards up but you are being persistent you are not letting down on this fight you're you're you are pursuing more control, more stability. Um, and I feel like you may be searching for those answers. There's some kind of clarity that you're coming into. Uh, maybe you're researching, you know, how to, you know, increase your finances, how to increase, you know, in your job, in your place of work. Um, I feel like you may be pursuing an education at the moment. Um, but whatever this is that you're pursuing, you're pursuing your happiness. And that's very beautiful for you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're, you are maintaining healthy boundaries. You know, um, the emperor, if you are absorbing this emperor energy the emperor he's very um powerful very you know he's a natural entrepreneur you know he has this knowledge but he's gained this knowledge over time it didn't come overnight he's a very wise uh investor he he likes to increase his knowledge and to keep his control his power okay so i feel like if you are pursuing something that's going to kind of maintain your powerful position um i feel like you are taking on that emperor energy and you are actively pursuing the knowledge that it takes to keep that control okay i hope that makes sense to you but that's what spirit has given me with that Okay, more message for Sagittarius. More message for Sagittarius. Yeah, we have the Hermit energy. Look, you are gaining your wisdom, but you're you're actively in search of more knowledge. Okay, um, I feel like you're trying to gain a good understanding of what this is that you're going through i feel like a lot of things may not be clear that's why you're actively searching for this knowledge for this ability for this breakthrough to come into your life you know and i feel like you know actively pursuing this i feel like you're at a crossroads you have some choices that need to be made but those choices are going to lead you closer into this path of your destiny that is you know pursuing what this is that you need a breakthrough in and i feel like this breakthrough is very close you know you have the emperor the temperance you're being very persistent okay you're gaining the knowledge the wisdom there's a lot of swords in this energy so i, I really think that you are you know knee deep in studying and pursuing this intellectual thought this understanding this wisdom that you need because you know 
the the swords they're all about our thinking all about our thoughts our understanding you know gaining higher wisdom so i feel like you're very capable of whatever this is that you're pursuing at the moment okay so hang tight here yeah okay Sagittarius, there's going to be some valuable information that's going to come to you that's going to help you on your journey. Um, there's going to be something that is going to provide you more grounding, more happiness, more sharing. Um, it may be that this... Wow. Okay. It, it may be that this information that you are receiving is going to help you provide better for your family. It's going to help you provide more for the people that you're responsible for. Okay. But this is valuable information that you've been waiting for that's coming in for you. And I feel like, you know, this is something that you've been waiting for. Now, I feel like this is going to push you into this new ability if you are open to love i feel like your love is growing stronger you're you're gaining more um love around you i feel like this may be an offer of some kind of romance something that's very um valuable to you it may be a capricorn coming through to you but i feel like they are looking towards the future they are looking towards providing you with a gift providing you with some kind of information okay so let's take a look at this for Sagittarius let's get a little bit of clarity for this situation tell me more about the situation for Sagittarius please tell me more about the situation for Sagittarius the next 48 hours okay it, okay, we have the Four of Swords. So I feel like with this information that you're going to obtain, I feel like you're going to be able to focus more on yourself. Look at this. We have the Ace of Swords twice. This is a breakthrough. This is a, a very important breakthrough that you're coming into. This is some kind of information that's going to burst you forward in whatever this is that you're pursuing. It's going, it, it can actively, you know, increase your income, increase your knowledge, increase your awareness. But I feel like you are able to really take care of yourself and the people around you better when this situation unfolds, okay? Because you have success. You have the knowledge. This is your reward for all of the hard work that you put in. You know, you have that Six of Wands energy. So, Spirit is letting you know, you have success. You have support. The Three of Cups is my card of you are being supported, either by your angels or you by your friends and family around you. But you have the support that you need to take on the challenge that is coming towards you. Okay? So, this is beautiful energy for you, Sagittarius. But I feel like there is still work that needs to be done. It's not time to rest. You're almost at the end of whatever the situation is. You're almost at a completion. But I feel like there's still some work that needs to be done. So there's something that you need to, you know, acknowledge. Okay. We have the Six of Cups. So I feel like, you know, we have the Six of Cups twice. So I think Spirit is letting you know that your friends, your family, your your close relationships are very important to you right now. There's something that you're nurturing. There's something that you're growing. There's something that is bringing more value to the situation. I feel like I... What I'm really getting is, Sagittarius, you're able to fully take care of the things that you need to take care of in order to provide for your family. I really feel that very strongly. Okay? You have gained a lot of wisdom. Look at this. We have the Hermit twice. You have gained a lot of wisdom in this situation. Now, the... The hermit, he is actively searching for wisdom. 
But if you notice in his lantern, he is carrying the star. The star is all of his healing, all of the lessons that he's learned along his journey. He's putting into this lantern. So he's leading, he's being led by his healing, by his lessons, by the knowledge that he's learned. You know, so I, I feel like, you know, you're taking that knowledge of the lessons that you've learned and you're being led into this new path, into this new journey where you are being recognized and lifted up. Okay, so this is beautiful for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Let's get a card for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know for the next 48 hours? Give me a message for Sagittarius, please. Perseverance. Yes. Spirit is letting you know to do not give up on your journey. You are so close to a completion. So persevere. Keep going. You know, um... They're also, the Nine of Wands is known as like the wounded warrior, but he has not given up faith or the ability to take on the battle. You know, he's not given up. So you need to persevere. Don't give up in this situation. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Okay, you have that ability, Sagittarius. And I feel like your abundance is very, very close. You're at the end of a cycle. You're so close to completing it. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay, so remember that, Sagittarius. Remember that your journey is leading you to abundance. Okay? We have a win-win outcome is in the forecast. Okay, so like I said, you're very close to completing this, this journey. You're very close to your win-win situation. Okay? Um, let's get a Moonology card. What does Moonology have to say for Sagittarius? Okay, it says, New Moon in Scorpio. Go deeper. Okay, you know, when, when you think that you've like hit your threshold for gaining the knowledge Spirit is letting you know it's time to go deeper. Go deeper into it. Maybe meditate. Maybe, you know, go within to find your answers. We also have full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. So sometimes you need to just let the, let the reins go and let the universe lead you. Okay? Let's get a universe card for Sagittarius. And one wanted to pop out right away. We have, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know to remain positive. To remain positive and just focus on your outcome. Okay? Um, I feel like everything is going to work out for its greatest good. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. You know? So I think Spirit is letting you know to be aware. You know? Be aware of what's around you. Of, you know, those feelings of negative and positive. And make sure to feel grounded. Okay? Um, we're going to get a love oracle to see what's going on in Sagittarius's love life for the next 48 hours. Okay, we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, and meeting. 
Okay, so I feel like, you know, if you're looking for love, Sagittarius, love is definitely coming. It is on the way. Okay, so look at this. We have this again. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Be grateful and find the bliss in your situation. Okay, so Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And uh, take a look at, the, at your March playlist, your sun, moon, rising, and even your Venus if you're in search of love or if you want to know what's going on in your love life. Okay, and until your next reading, Sagittarius, my beautiful Sagittarius, many blessings, love, and light.